Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. Um, I've had lots and lots of requests to show you my crochet hook collection. Now as you can see they're stored in tins. These are just old tins like that might have been a soup tin. Pretty sure one of these would be baked beans or spaghetti or something like that. And they're just cleaned out and these sit, ne sit next to me on my uh, workspace when I do my filming. Um, they're just easy to grab. You can see what size you need. I've kind of got them sorted out. This one here is all my big crochet hooks. Here's one my friend sent me. I'm going to show you these all properly, but I've got all the big ones in there. This one has my ones with my clay handles and these clover ones with the, I think they're soft touch. I can't remember what they're called. Um, they're my clover crochet hooks and then this one of the ones I normally use for my videos these are clover and also tulip crochet hooks and what are these ones oh and I've just got some odd um, aluminium ones in there but yeah I will I'll show you them all properly to you but I just wanted to show you how I store them and if I am going out for the day or you know you're going to someone's house or something like that I'm leaving the house with my projects I normally just put them into a project bag with the item that I'm making so I don't really have a case um, I did have a pencil case they used to use but now that I've got project bags from the lovely Erin here on YouTube from Gimme Yarn 418 uh, I buy my project bags from her so I don't need to just chuck them in a plastic bag I do have this. This is the tulip um, case and it comes with a set of crochet hooks. You can see one poking out there. I'll pop that back in. So it's a really nice case. It feels beautiful. It's a beautiful pink colour. I'm trying to film this upside down so you're going to have to excuse me. Beautiful pink colour. It's got this gorgeous little, I think that, I'm assuming that's glass. Oh no, it's plastic, sorry. With a gorgeous little tassel on the ends which I haven't taken the plastic off yet because I don't actually use this case but it does come in handy just to keep sewing your tulip hooks in the right spot so you can see that they come with your crochet hooks in there and these are sizes 2 millimeter, 2.2, 2 2.5, a 3, a 3.5 and you can see these ones are missing in this one here, you've got a little zip pouch. It's like a little, uh, it's like a meshy netting sort of zip pouch. It did come from, come with a little pair of scissors and I think it was a sewing needle as well, but they seem to have run away. I'm sure they're in a project bag somewhere. And this one, I'm pretty sure, so that one's a 3.5. There would have been a four, a four and a half, five, five and a half, six. I think that might be what you get in that side. Um, this was a gift from Tulip Direct to me and I want to say a huge thank you to them for gifting this to me. I'm not saying this because I gifted, gifted this to me but these are my favourite crochet hooks. They are beautiful to hold, they are nice and soft, um, the grip on them is great. This is just my personal opinion of course, the grip is great. I don't get any hand cramps when I use these crochet hooks, I think they're perfect. Um, they do however cost quite a bit of money to purchase, especially if you get the set like this. I'm not sure how much they are, but I will put some links below in the description box so you can check them out. But they are so worth the investment. Even if this wasn't gifted to me, I would have purchased one of these because they're amazing crochet hooks. I mean, they have ones that come in different colors. There's gray ones as well. Um, but this is just the pink version. I think this is the rose collection. Don't quote me on that one. So I'm going to put those aside, but I'm also going to show you the ones that I've already taken out of the case. And I have crochet hooks, I don't know about you guys, but I have crochet hooks in all corners of the house. So not all my crochet hooks are in that, um, are in those tins. There's project bags left, right and centre here, so we have all the... Oh, that's actually not a chill crochet hook. Uh, so these are the ones, the ones that are already out are ones that I use all the time. And 
this have got a six millimeter there the other ones that were already in the case they are the smaller ones I don't normally use those so that's why they're still in there but you can see they come in different shades of pink um, I wish you had feel of vision because these feel really really nice they're really smooth they're great to hold I right, this is how I crochet as you know you've seen a video probably so you know how, that's how I hold my crochet hook a lot of people do hold it like that but that's how I hold mine um, so I've got this ruler here so you can see the measurements because a lot of people um, have said they can't get any measurements and things like that so this one is 14 centimeters okay, I'll turn, the, turn it this way so it's upside down you guys can read it better it's upside down to me but not to you so this one is 14 centimeters uh, don't ask me what that is in inches and that's how long they are and they are depending on the width of the crochet hook so this is a six millimeter and this is a 4.5 the handles are slightly different in sizing because they're accommodating the bigger or smaller crochet hook and I've got one here this is a size G and this is the clover crochet hook again these come in various different colors and I'm going to put them next to each other so you can compare them so okay that's not a very good comparison because that's not the six mil let's see if I can find the same size as the crochet hook that I've got okay so let's move those out of the way this one is the tulip 4.5 or a size 7.5 US and that is 14 centimeters and this is the 4.5 and I'm going to put that next to each other and they are pretty much the same length there's probably only maybe one or two millimeters in difference the shaft of the crochet hook which is this part here or the stem of the crochet hook whatever you want to call it the metal bit they're pretty much the same this blue one which is the clover and I think they're called Amor or Armour Amor, however you want to pronounce it that's slightly longer but not by much at all like just a smidge, a couple of millimetres uh, so that, yeah, they're, they're both approximately 14 centimetres long I have, what else have I got in my stash I'm just going to tip them out, I might get a bit noisy tip them all out and then I won't make lots of noise for the video So I've been collecting crochet hooks for quite a number of years. I've crocheted for about, oh gee, about 13, 14 years now. So I've got quite a lot. Um, so we've got tulip and then the clover is a blue one. Okay, so this one here is a clover as well. And I'm pretty sure these are called soft touch. Like again, don't quote me on the names of these. I've got so many I can't remember. So this is a plastic handle. And it has like a smoothie bit there. That's not plastic, that's kind of like rubber. And I'm going to put this next to the other crochet hooks. Actually, I'm going to put it on the, on the just on the um, ruler there. So as you can see, that one is a little bit shorter. And this one is, let me just zoom in a bit. This one is about 13 centimeters long and as you can see it is shorter than the other two. Um, I used to love these crochet hooks, I really did. But then when I purchased, I purchased my clover next, so I had a set of these, then I purchased a set of those, fell in love with these. Um, these are the best, these are so good. Uh, if, if I didn't have tulip crochet hooks I would be very very happy with the clover ones. But when I purchased these, the blue set, so the clover ones versus these clover ones, there's just no comparison. These are so much softer. Um, that's plastic handle. This has got a rubber handle. Um, I find this a lot easier to hold in my hands now that I use these. If I go back to this one, I, it makes my hands hurt. And again, these are just my personal opinions. But I do do a lot of crochet. <laughs> Um, what else have we got here? So I've got some clay handled ones and these are Susan Bates um, crochet hooks. This is a 5.5 .5, 
And these were gifted to me from a lady quite a number of years ago. And as far as I know, she doesn't sell them anymore. So I'm going to put that down. So I don't think I don't think I have a Susan Bates crochet hook. Let me just ferrule around. No, I don't. So I was just wondering if I had one without the clay handle. So I'm going to turn these crochet hooks to the side. I might zoom in on that part. I forget that. So that's a, mm, that one's longer than that. The clay handles I find very comfortable. Um, the decorations on here I don't find get in the way for me personally. Um, when you hold it, it just you don't really notice it that much. Um, so I love using those. I haven't used them for a long time because I find that the clover or the tulip are the best on my hands. So we've got that one. Pop that there. This one is a is it boy? I think that's how you say it. A boy crochet hook. Um, I have used this quite a bit. I've used it in a few of my videos. It's a 6.5 and the tulip and the clover I'm pretty sure only goes up to a six millimeter it definitely goes up to that in this is a six millimeter goes up to that in their sets so I don't know if you can buy them separate um, again you'd, you would have to do some research on that just go and type it into Google so this is a 6.5 and this has got a different style hook at the end there uh, but I do like using those have no problem at all this one is a crochet hook that I got with a yarn order uh, from Red Heart. I haven't actually used this one yet. It is a 5mm. Just trying to see if I can get that to focus. 5mm crochet hook. Um, like I said, I haven't used it. I, I have so many. This is probably a recent addition. I've got so many crochet hooks that I haven't got around to using that one. Right, what else have we got? Um, so I have, I'm just going to grab them out of the collection. I have some of these. These are, I bought these ones on purpose in the bigger sizes because I didn't have any with the bigger sizes with the handles like that. So I've got a 7, 8, 9, and 10 millimeter crochet hook, that size, sorry. I think I've actually got a bigger one as well, but obviously it's somewhere with the project. I cannot remember what brand name these are. I, I did buy these in Australia. Oh, so I purchased these ones I th oh, many, many, many years ago. I think it was from eBay. The pink ones are tulip and they were gifted to me. I know you can get them on Amazon. You could probably get them on eBay as well. Uh, the clover ones I purchased on Amazon. And this, I really have no idea where those ones came from. It's probably a set that I've bought from somewhere. So these ones here, I have no idea what brand they are. Um, they were purchased from a little shop in Berry, which is a little town in New South Wales in Australia. Um, they weren't very expensive. I don't remember them being expensive. Probably around 4 or $5 each. I want to say they're Knit Pro or Knitter's Pride brand. But again, I'm not sure. If anyone knows, please put it in the description box below. And uh, uh, not description box, in the comments section. So that would help me out. And then I have these random, these are cheap. These were probably a couple of bucks each. They weren't very expensive. Can't even tell you what size that, that is. I think I've covered it up. Many years ago, I used it for Tunisian crochet and put a stopper on the end. And I've just never really taken it off. And if I used it as a normal crochet hook, it probably wouldn't get in the way anyway. So that's a huge crochet hook. It's probably maybe about a 10. I'm going to just zoom back out a bit. Oh, zooming out. And this one, again, I think I bought these in about a set of three. There's only one here, so who knows where the other ones are. This is a 15. I don't know if this will show up on the camera. So it's sort of not really 
well printed or anything. 15 millimeter crochet hook and it's got bubbles in it. It's very cool. It's just plastic. Um, I don't remember using this very much, but it's a really big crochet hook, so I don't use it that much anyway. For some reason, I have two of these. These are fluoro orange. They're not showing up fluoro orange on my viewfinder. They're by Pony, which is a brand name, and they're both 8mm crochet hooks. Why do I have two the same? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll pop them on the top. Oh, so the sizing wise, um, so they're pretty much all the same size. So we can get rid of those. They're all about 15 centimeters. And that one was 13 centimeters. These big ones, this is a 10 millimeter. This is approximately 16 centimeters long. But then the smaller ones, so this is a seven millimeter. That's 14 centimeters long. So that's about the size of a clover crochet hook. So we'll get rid of those. Again, these big, massive, chunky things are 17 centimeters. These are 14. Get rid of those. Um, another type, or oh, what's this one here? This doesn't have a handle. So that's another boy crochet hook. I'm pretty sure that I bought a set of these in a leather pouch, like a fake leather pouch. And it had about 20 crochet hooks in it. I've probably lost them over the years or they've broken or there again in various project bags around the house. So I do like these ones. I had that set for quite a while before I bought another set of crochet hooks. I had this set before I purchased those. So I had that one, then I purchased those ones. Then I purchased the clover. They're both clover. And then I was gifted the tulip. But again, I like all of them. I don't particularly like those style. I do hurt my hands, but that's just me. Okay, and the last one that I've got here is an aluminium crochet hook with a plastic handle. And it only has the number printed on there. So it says 5.5. .5. This does wear off. I've got another one there. It's a six millimeter. Um, I when I very, very first started to crochet, these were pretty much all you could get in our local craft store spotlight. These plastic handled ones. And these are fine to use. They're only cheap. They're probably between three and five dollars, depending on what size you buy. I had heaps of these. Again, they've probably just broken. They get sat on or trod on or anything like that. And let's just measure those. These are great crochet hooks for beginners. These are 14 centimeters. They're cheap and cheerful, and if you're just starting out, you're maybe not sure if you're going to stick with crochet. These are great. These are, an, I think this is an Australian brand. They're um, called Birch, B-I-R-C-H. Um, again, I don't know if they're available international, but they are available in Australia. I think they're available in New Zealand as well. Or if you have spotlight stores, which I think there's one in Singapore as well. There's definitely some in New Zealand. Um, 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 I'm saying I'm um a lot. Okay, so I'm going through all the stuff that I've got here. So that's just another clover. So I, as you can see, I have, I did have a whole set of these. Again, I've lost them, broken them. Oops, sorry guys, being noisy, noisy. And these come in a variety of sizes. That's a three millimeter, and then you've got a six millimeter. I don't know the sizing they come in. You can buy them as sets, and I've definitely seen them to be purchased individually. Now, the clover crochet hooks, I actually own two sets. And I'll tell you why. I bought a set from Amazon, and then I won a prize in my local, uh, local um, crochet knitting group. And I won some crochet hooks. Now, normally I would have given them back and said, look, no, I already own some. But I was wanting to purchase another size four, another size five, 
a five and a half and a four and a half. So that's four crochet hooks. And I thought, well, that's basically half the set. So I will take them and you can always use spare crochet hooks. So I'm just going to organize these in sizes so I can show you what they come in. Okay, so I've just noticed I have two blue and they're exactly the same size. So I'll take that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is the set. Um, again, I'm not sure if this is the whole set because I don't have my container. So these, when they, when you buy them, they come in, or when I bought them and when I won them, they came in a plastic container that's just throw out. It wasn't one that you could keep. I think again don't quote me I think that you can actually buy ones in um, cases so keep an eye out for that because it is handy if you have even just at least one case to keep all your stuff in so we've got let me see if I can zoom in a bit more we've got a size B or a 2.25 a C or a 2.275 D which is a 3.25 and E 3.5 and F 3.75 G is a size 4 7 which I think is really strange they kind of skip a letter and then go for a number with the blue one but anyway this is the American sizing a size 7 is a 4.5 and a J is a 6.0 now there are definitely sizes missing because we've skipped a lot of numbers so it goes 4.5, then a 5 millimeter, which is a H, and a 5.5, which is an I size crochet hook. So there's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 10 crochet hooks in that set. So there's actually two missing, which should be in there. But as you can see, the colors are just amazing. I love the fun colors. The brown. I really don't know why they put brown in there, but again, just a personal opinion. Oh, so I found, I didn't even know I still had this one. So I'll get rid of these ones. This, I cannot remember the brand. The only complaint I have about this type of crochet hook, that number wears off. I actually have knitting needles in this same one. I don't know if they're the same brand, but it definitely looks like that type of timber. And that just wears off. And if I sat there and scratch that for long enough, for a few minutes, it would just scratch off. So you need one of those needle gauges. I have actually snapped one of these. I actually thought this was it, but apparently I've bought another one to replace it. It feels fabulous in your hands. It's timber, it's smooth, it's really smooth, it's so yummy. It's got beautiful little detail. I cannot remember how much it cost me. I've had it for ages. And I think because I broke one, I didn't buy any more because I definitely don't have any other sizes in that one. But they are very pretty. So last but not least, this was a present. Let me zoom out. This was a present from my lovely friend, Sandra. Oh, I'll have to show you those ones too. And it's one of those light up crochet hooks. But I haven't used it yet. As you can see, it's still in the plastic. I have not used it yet. Is it weird that I don't want to use it because it was a present? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> so next time I use black maybe, and I need a size G, which is a 4.5, then I'll probably use it. And that's another thing, right? This is another complaint. A size G is a 4.5 according to that. Now what are the odds I can find that crochet hook really quick? But this is a clover and it's a G, but it's a 4.0. Now which one is right? You tell me that. You've got a 4.5 as a G and a 4 as a G. It's so confusing. No wonder beginners get confused. I just, yeah, 
just go with your gut feeling. So these are the other clay handles that I have. They're so cute. They are owls. Oh, they look so old now. Owls and cupcakes. Pretty sure that was the set that I got sent. Um, very, very cute. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this lady's not making them anymore. They've lasted really well. I use these in my videos for quite a long time. And if I had to guess, I would say they're about three or four years old so they have lasted a long time none of the handles have cracked or anything so that's great um, the lacquer I was just looking at that one the, the shininess of it has worn off a little bit but that's because I've used them quite a lot so I hope you enjoyed my video I have crochet like I said crochet hooks next to my workspace when I do my filming there's crochet hooks sitting there right now. I know there's at least two there. They're next to the couch where I sit when I crochet. And they're in various project bags that are either hibernating or they're a work in progress. So this isn't all of them, but it's pretty much most of them. So I hope this give, gives you some idea if you were think, thinking of purchasing maybe a new set of crochet hooks or um, you're a beginner and you haven't purchased your crochet hooks yet. I, I hope this has given you some idea um, in comparison as well. And price-wise, tulips are the the, um, the most expensive for the ones that I have, which are the pink ones. Uh, the clover are the next ones down. You can get them anywhere from, I've seen them from $35 all the way up to $100 a set. Uh, just depends where you buy it or if you can get it on a really good sale. Great, both amazing crochet hooks, both both fabulous if tulip crochet hooks weren't invented i would be very happy and more than happy than with the clo with the clover ones i think i like these ones because they're pretty um, and they just they're ever so slightly smoother like ever so slightly you probably wouldn't notice it if you just picked up a crochet hook you wouldn't notice it's only when they're both together um the next ones down are these ones I wouldn't have a clue how much these are anymore because I've had them for years. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, and then just these sorts of things with the plastic handles and the aluminium ones with just no handles are your sort of budget crochet hooks. They're fabulous for starting out. Um, I have friends who swear by them and don't like the rubber handles on the... They're not rubber, so don't, don't imagine like wetsuit rubber. They're sort of, I'm not really sure what they're made of, but the closest thing I can say is rubber. They're not aluminium, they're not plastic. They're kind of rubbery. People swear by these ones, so if you've got these, don't feel like you've got to buy the most expensive ones. It's what feels comfortable in your hands. Um, before purchasing the more expensive styles, I probably would just buy one in your favourite size and see how you go. Because you might hate them. You might go, oh, what's clear on about? These are really horrible. <laughs> I have a lot of people who say that they can't stand these ones they're too short um, when they grip onto them they just fall out of their hands their fingers fall off the end um, yeah they just don't like them so best advice buy one of the size that you want in the one that you want to try and go from there and then ask Santa Claus or put it on a wish list or drop hints to your family or friends if you would like to get this big set because it is a lot of money but it's definitely worth the investment i hope you are having a great week again i hope you enjoyed this video give you an insight into my crazy crochet hook collection thanks for watching and until next time happy crochet